All right, so we are back here with episode eight. of uh, the Minecraft beta series here. And for starters, my volume is very, very loud. Let's turn that sound down to 25. Let's turn that music down to 20. Okay. So we are on 1.8 now. We are on beta 1.8. A lot of the textures have been updated, including the cobblestone. Um, really, a lot's changed. So, we're, we're past the beginning, beginning point, and we even have a hunger bar now. Let's go kill this sheep, see what he's all about. Alright, I only got one wool that time, which means I can probably shear sheep now. I think my bull chest is here. Yeah, yeah it is. Can pork chops stack, stack now? It can. So all my non-stackables became stackable. That's good. That is really good. Um, I wish there was a way... There's no automatic crafting in this game. Or else I could see exactly what was all in this update. Just heard a new in-game sound. Looks like the trees got quite a bit of updating. They look a lot different from the last episode. I hear zombies. Well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause my game right here, and I will be back in a few minutes once I've made some progress. Alright, so we're continuing on here. I have only things on me I am willing to lose. Actually, I'm going to throw the bucket back in because I don't want to lose the bucket. <laughs> Other than that, um, and obviously I need a flint and steel. Everything on my person, I am okay with dying with. I would prefer to keep it, but if it comes down to it, it it's not the end of the world if I lose it. Alright, so let's find out if the nether is working or not. Three, two, one. Take off! Oh boy. Alright, here goes nothing. Alright, at least I can block now. Enchanting is not yet a thing, by the way. Um, okay, talk about one of the worst spawns you could probably have. Okay, for now, let's just block all this off. Actually, I have my way out right here so the gas can't see, hopefully. why you gotta be careful. So, over there is our closest point. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna say this definitely equals to the, uh, the worst nether spawn I've probably ever had. Um, you know, just one of the problems with, with beta. So look at that lava. 
something about it just looks super different and a little bit uh seizure -y. Oh, we're still super far. Can I bridge three? I should be able to hear it shooting and run back in time before it hits. I might not have enough cobblestone to pull this off. That's what I'm really worried about here. I got 20 left. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I might need to go back for another uh, stack of cobble. Probably should just grab two to play it safe. Granted, I was saving it for my main base, but at the same time, nether exploration is also an important part of uh, evolving in this game. Yeah, we're going back for more cobble. I'm going to grab two more stacks and see where that gets us. Please, no portal linking issues. Sweet. Back to the storage room. I think it's time we make this a double door. Two stacks of cobble. Let's see where that gets us. We can at least have one safety reel. I'll feel a little bit better about walking on this path. Damn, that alone ate a bunch of the cobble. Definitely gonna make this too wide because I can't stand one wide diagonal. Uh, pathways like that. Can this seriously not keep up with walk speed? What the fuck? It can if I spam tap it. It just can if I hold it. Okay, at this point in the game, that glowstone is one of the most valuable things we can get from here. But also the indefinite lava supply is also pretty nice. So I'm going to make way down to that too. See now there's so many nether caves and shit that you'd spawn in something like that most likely. Yeah, like there's really nothing special in the nether yet. It's all pretty plain and boring. It's just pigmen. What up, bruh? I want to at least grab some glowstone for my venture here. 
and enough nether rack to make a nice fireplace. A little bit of soul sand wouldn't hurt anybody either. Am I getting nothing from that? Now I am. Good thing that worlds are infinite, right? If you would do this on 360, it would have been like a forbidden sin. Break that glowstone and not get anything out of it. Glowstone even has a different texture. Not a whole lot different. Very faint, but... It is different nonetheless. feel good. Alright, and in total that gives us how much glowstone? Thirty-eight. I will take it. Definitely better than nothing. You blow up your own fucking fortress, motherfucker. No soul sand to be seen in sight. There might be way down there, but I'm not going down there. I ain't dying for glowstone. I'm not gonna die for soul sand either, but I am gonna see if it's at least around the corner. Well, there's a bunch of soul sand over there. Come on, I want to hit it back at him. I know it can be done. Problem is, you don't get a whole lot of say in the direction it gets to go. Time to run. Fuck it. It's just not worth it. Q. 
can't touch my bridge, motherfucker. This is my bridge. This ain't your bridge. Alright, I just want to show this legendary moment right here. We have unlocked glass panes. I repeat, we have unlocked glass panes. Alright, I think I got this down. Now is it the same for the iron? I minus threadstone. It is cool, cool. So I'll make some iron too. I think we can get away with. I think we can get away with that. Let's just figure it out. <clears throat> we won't know until we try. I'm gonna need some redstone torches. You guys have no idea what I'm doing. And that's why it's exciting. But you will in a second. Alright, and it should all be making sense now. <clears throat> so we got um our first bit of technology, I guess, on the save file. This railway system. And which goes all the way down to the bottom of the mine. That way I don't gotta keep spamming this fucking space bar. Every goddamn block. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's loud as fuck. And just because we were gonna need one anyways, I might as well make a minecart. And because I'm out of most of my minerals, <clears throat> um, I think it's time for a mining trip anyways. That button and we going. Now I want to try to take it back up, but I don't think that's no. Yeah, we too far behind on updates for those minecart mechanics. But the minecarts are faster, I believe. So we do have that going for us. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and dump my inventory, and I will cut back in when I find some goodies. Alright, so we are on a very uh, real mission right here to actually go find some grass. And I've been looking for some red mushrooms. Um, I just need to find some basic grass, which means we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring. I know I'm relatively near zero zero to get uh, back to home base. Either way, I can find home base from zero zero. So I think zero zero is just down here in this beach. So I'm gonna go off on a little mission and see if I can uh, <clears throat> find some uh, new terrain. Also, we're in a, in a new update now, and terrain generation has changed. So oh shit. I might as well take the crafting bench with me. And also part of a tree. Uh, I might as well take the full tree. I don't want to leave floating trees on my my turf. Once I get a little farther away from spawn, I'm not going to care as much. kind of want to go left. I don't know. Fuck it, let's, yeah, let's just go left. I'm gonna get some in-game music going, because it's just very dull right now. Oh, there's just none playing. Okay. Well, that's chill, too. It's like this version's really buggy and there's like barely any audio. It's like you don't even have the music to mask it. So I've been working on a couple little projects off camera that uh, I'll get to showing you guys. Oh, okay, it's so old fashioned. I did pick a nice mountain, though. <clears throat> I'll make a pretty big base in it, really. I mean, I still haven't busted out to the other side in my tunnel that I've been making.
Oh shit, 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 shit. I see some clay. I actually haven't gotten any clay yet, so... I, I can come back for it later. It's just behind my mountain. All right. I think this is uh, safe to say there's new terrain over here. So this is where I'm gonna pop off. Whoa, yep, yep, this is where the new terrain is. There's an Enderman. Of course the moon's just coming up. That's my luck for you. <clears throat> what else would it be? Can I bone nail the ground yet? Oh my god, I could have done that the whole time. Well, fuck it. Now I'm curious about this chunk border. Maybe I should just turn around. XP orbs are just becoming a thing. Okay, there's spruce trees. I'll keep my two bones and hope... Oh, I can sleep through the night. Motherfucker. Thank you, sheep. kill that skeleton just for a few more arrows problem is yep that's what I was worried about he's not in the water and I am okay that still worked out pretty well another skelly over here He done. He big done so. Alright, I'm gonna find a little place to take out post for the night. I was hoping for a nice little cave or something, but I might have to settle for a hole in the ground. <laughs> so this is kind of funny. Um, originally, the uh, the water used to be one block. Uh, what's it called? I don't know how to explain it. The um, <laughs> water's level is one block higher than it is in newer Minecraft. It's still 63 today, I believe. I don't believe that has changed. I... <laughs> Let's see, 412. That's really all I need, 412. Can't can't even explain. Can't even explain how that just happened. I just got ambushed in the fucking forest in the daytime. Oh, there's my home. Yep, they just fucking ambushed me. Oh, there's no swimming yet. 
This is going to be painful. And I went kind of far, too. That's a really fucked up part. All right, well, I'll be right back. I think I'm good. And XP isn't a thing yet, so... Really, there was no loss from that. Other than the risk of losing my shit. I don't believe that was everything, though. I think my armor just got shredded. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Alright, well. Well, let's wrap this up and see if we can or can't find a wolf. Kill as many cows on the way. Stock up on bookshelves, old books for <clears throat> an enchanting room. I guess I could start making the bookshelves. Oh, sweet. Free cooked chicken. Oh. I'd rather have the chicken. Does anybody know what that little bar in the bottom left of my screen does? If so, put it in the comment section, please. Because I just don't fucking understand it. I have eight leather from this whole journey. Actually, right now, I don't think you even need leather to make books. So, really what I, that's a cool mountain, I want to go check that out. Um, really, I guess if we just stocked up on a shit ton of books right now, and I just make a giant sugarcane farm, I should be sitting pretty good. Yeah, I'm not seeing no damn wolf somewhere at the end of the damn biome, so. Not a whole lot more I can do for that than what I already have. Um, yeah, I really want to stop and collect some of this clay, but I just don't have the inventory space. I came here for seeds, and seeds is what I got. And now that I know I can just use my bones for seeds too, that, that's pretty helpful. Oh, sweet. The game's just hooking me up. It's like, fuck it, I'm probably going to be back here. In fact, they know I am. All that clay and shit. I think basically the, the rule I'm going to kind of make it is if uh, it's not on the border of the um, old, old beta map. And <clears throat> on top of that, it's not, um, it's on the edge of the border. Like say, I don't know, maybe the first like 50 blocks over or so. I'm gonna kinda claim is my personal turf and enforce it. 
everything outside of that I'm just gonna harvest resources from to bring here I'm really not going to do much outside that range. Unless at some point later on down the series it comes into making like a, a big map farm or something and I can only do it in a specific spot that's outside the range. Then I'll bend the rules a little bit and make another portal linking over to it. but. That's interesting. So some directions I got like 300 blocks of leeway, some directions I got like 100. <laughs> it's alright. My base is off the axis anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Do think it's time to make another boat though. I also want to test maps, but I'll probably save that for next episode will be one update farther and we'll really test um what's it called Ex exploration if I can get back to this border it would be sweet Okay, so we do have a stump biome right by us. That's kind of cool. Within the chunks, too. No shit. No shit. This wasn't going to stay a snow biome forever. I know that. I also want to test to see if I can make pumpkin seeds yet. No, I can't. That just adds to their value. I'm going to take a few while I'm here. I'll just take two. Fuck it. Eventually, I'll be able to plant them. See, like, these mountains are cool as fuck, too. I'd love to carve a base in one of these just flat face mountains. That one's already got a cave to go move right in. You can see the drop off point right there too, that's cool. Alright, I'm going to get back to the boat. Uh, first I'm going to harvest that sugar cane. And then I'll get back to the boat. Back to the boat. Back to the f fucking boat. Damn, they almost got me. Shit. They're ambushing me again. See, these are the moments where you realize you're grateful for the current version of the game because you can swim and shit and actually get away from shit like this. Well, the turning is, is sure a lot slower. Oh, uh, 
Ah, fuck it. I don't even care about it. It was a free pork chop anyways. I can't tell if that's real border or if that's just how the mountains are over there. I think that's just how they are. Oh, fuck. Go, 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 motherfucker. If this bow fails, I'm completely fucked. No, this is right on course to send me to home base. Okay, so I've got quite a good amount of uh, old beta loaded in. I'm happy about that. I was worried I didn't have enough. And either way, the other chunks outside of it are still going to be OG as fuck. Every update is going to produce very unique chunk ears, which is going to make the area that my base is in one of the most interesting. Ends it for that boat's life. Oh shit. Good fucker. Oh shit. Fuck. Right. If I can make it to the ladder, I'll be okay. The question is can I make it to the fucking ladder alive? <clears throat> Sweet. Put one by the torch too, just to see if it does better. I'll also throw a torch in each corner. Aw oh, man, we're still in that phase. If we get a crouch walk on the craps, that sucks. Yeah, come to think about it, the phase lasted a long time. It's probably gonna continue to <laughs> last a pretty long fucking time. All right. So progress made this episode. We now have a farm. I got a place to go sugar cane. We have a start to our railway system down to our mining mine shaft. All right, and something I've been wanting to show that I worked on earlier off camera that I was pretty proud of with the building materials I had to use at my disposal was this. This is my personal living quarters. This is my bedroom. So when the sugar cane grows, I can't see into the courtyard, but, you know, that's just part of it. It's decided that it's going to remain a courtyard um, for the castle. It's not going to be a, a, a nice, cosmetically pleasing castle, but, you know, it's going to be a big, scary-looking fortress. That's what I'm going for here. So... The paintings look like shit, they need to fix the lighting on that, but anyways, you know, I tried to make it cozy in here. I got a storage chest for all my bullshit. Got a bet. I've had F3 up for the longest goddamn time. But, uh, this episode's getting pretty long now, so I'm 
I'm going to have to cut it off here. Um, you know, it is what it is. Real quick, let's see if I can just make a map and load it in. I sure can automatically a level three map. That's pretty sweet. All right, so we're going to have to explore that more next episode. But that's pretty cool. And home base is pinpointed right in the dead center. So that's even cooler. I will catch you all in the next one. If you enjoyed, please drop a like, comment, possibly even subscribe.